everyone welcome back to my home channel and welcome to my home if you are completely new around here I just moved into this home so today we're gonna be focusing on my bedroom and getting that all set up whenever I kind of thought about how I wanted to decorate this bedroom I really thought that I wanted to go with the boho theme this house um, the age of it I feel like fits so well with boho decor. I am taking a couple of days to do all of this so if you see my clothes change throughout the video that's why and basically we're going to start with an empty room and start to get the bed set up and get everything kind of functional and decorated and ready to go for me to use every day. All right, so like I said, this is day one of getting the whole bedroom set up and I'm really excited about it. So I have my mattress over here and then this is actually my bed frame. It's just the bottom part. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a headboard right now or if I'm going to set it up. I just, it's really hard to get a feel for a room whenever the bed isn't in it. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my, my bed frame and then we'll get the mattress out. I chose this bed frame because I don't need a box springs for it. It's a platform style bed and it actually sits a little higher than a lot of platform beds which I like and it was super reasonably priced on Amazon and really easy to put together as you can see. Then Sweet Night actually sent me this mattress to try out and I have been loving it. In fact, I think it's the best mattress I have ever slept on. Their prices are super affordable and I love the fact that it gets shipped right to my door and I am not that big of a person. I'm only 5'4 and I was able to take this king size mattress out of the box and maneuver it to get it positioned on the bed and then it inflates within 48 hours which you will see that it did a lot of inflating even while I was working on the room and getting it out of the box. Sweet Night mattresses are compatible with all bed sizes, platforms, and frames. It has targeted support for all body shapes and weights. It features motion isolation, which I can tell it definitely does. There's no shaking or anything like that whenever my daughters climb on the bed, when I'm sitting on it, and it also has a cooling effect. And it has this cover that you can remove on the top and wash, which I really appreciate. If you check out the description box, there is a link there and I have a code that will give you 22% off of all of their products on their website. I can't recommend them enough and I have really been loving their mattress. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is put some of these really um, inexpensive sticky blinds into the windows. This is a little hack if you're moving and your house has a lot of windows. This house has more than 25 windows in it and they actually are pretty impressive for being $2. So um, if you're moving, grab these from Ikea. So they basically just stick in the tops of the windows and you cut them with scissors on the end and then they have little clips in here that if you do want to put the blind up, you can do that. So just for some simple privacy, instead of like hanging up sheets or something like that until you have the window blinds that you want to install. All right, so my dad stopped by and helped me put up these curtain rods. They're not even by any means. I need to get up there and like really kind of work with them and whatever. But a little tip for you, if you're gonna put a bed in front of a window, one way to kind of make the end of the bed a more focal point is to put a longer curtain rod on that side of the room. So on this one, I did a shorter one. On this one, I did a longer one. I'm gonna get the curtains and put them up there and work at making them even. I just laid out the curtains on my living room floor and cut off about nine inches. It made them hang a lot straighter than if they were pooling on the floor um, with the excess. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm probably going to be adjusting these for like the next week because I feel like I can keep messing with them to try to make them look more even and all of that. But <laughs> either way, they're giving me the really cozy, relaxing feel that I want in here. And I love that. So next, I'm going to take these curtain um, lights. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, curtain string lights. And I actually have them strung out right here. And I'm going to put them in this curtain. I'm not putting it in that one. And I'll probably have them off during the day but it's just something to add in a little bit more relaxation at night I can turn them on and kind of have this be my like wind down space which is what I really want to do and have it just the perfect place to do my evening routine in and all of that so it's nice because they're all actually bunched up on the line and so each strand is um, already t like wound up for me so I'm going to actually put this up there first and then go through and unwind each strand. Next, I went ahead and got out my bedding. I love white sheets and it's nice to have all the bedding in the house white so that I can do one big load of bedding and put in a bleach or a white brightener. And I just did really simple, clean bedding. I prefer to have a lot of lightweight blankets and kind of pile on as I need or take off as I need than to have one big solid comforter. And then the throw blanket that I'm putting on there, I did find at TJ Maxx. And they're such a great place to find good, affordable throw blankets that are on trend. All right, you guys, so it's the next day and I'm getting ready to kind of move on to the next couple of steps here. So one thing I really encourage you to do as you're decorating a room is figure out things that you're gonna base other decisions off of. So one of the things I decided to do since I'm the only one that sleeps in here is um, to not put a nightstand on this side. I actually did get one for it, like the one I'm gonna be putting on the other side, but I'll use it somewhere else. But you'll see why I'm doing this part first. So as you decorate a room, kind of think of it in steps and what steps you wanna do first. So obviously I needed to put the bed in here first to get this all lined up correctly and so forth and so on and kind of think it all through before you get started. Next, I'm gonna hang up my big round mirror and I've used this in a lot of different places, but I decided I wanted to put it in here. And to hang heavy stuff, I really love using monkey hooks. Since this is a mirror and I'm a little nervous about just doing one, I'm gonna hang it up with two of them. So if you've never used a monkey hook, they're so genius. They do minimal damage to the wall and they can hold a ton of weight. So you just press it into the wall, into your drywall, and it goes back behind the drywall and then the little part that sticks out is only that hook. I think that this is the part I've been most excited about putting this room together. So I wanted to do some like DIY pendant lights and so I went hunting for baskets to see if I could find some baskets to hang upside down. If you could find two even at a thrift store they would be super inexpensive to do this little project with. But I actually found these at TJ Maxx um, and they are actually like a mini plant stand to where you would put the pot in the top here. But I think they're going to make great little pendant lights for me. So basically I'm going to be hanging them up and then I have these little puck lights that are battery operated. But I won't be using these all that often other than maybe a little bit in the evening when I'm in bed if I want to. Um, so I'm gonna put those underneath of here 
and then I'm going to hang them up with this. And then I have these little cup hooks. Um, since these are not going to be heavy at all, they'll do fine hanging from the ceiling with these. And I'm just going to assemble everything. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to attach this to this. Um, I may end up putting a piece of cardboard like up inside of there and then gluing some of the ends of the twine to it so that it stays in there really well because obviously I want the puck lights to lay flat inside of there. So I'm not sure. I will try to show you guys as I go here. I had to mess around with this a little bit to actually figure out how I was gonna do it. And it was hanging really crooked, like you need it to be able to hang completely straight. So what I did is I cut out two pieces of cardboard, just like this, and then I just kind of stabbed a hole through the middle of the first piece. Once it was through that, I put a whole bunch of super glue on this side and I laid the string, like it's coming up through the hole, laid it to the side and then I stuck this one on it in the inside of there, had it all flipped around. I'm gonna do it in just a second and held it in place until the super glue was dry and then voila. There it is. So now I can just take the puck lights and just stick them right up inside there and it will hang evenly. All right, you guys, I am so happy with how all of this turned out. It's exactly how I pictured it, and especially for how much I spent to do this little project, it wasn't that much, and I did have some things on hand that I had used in my other house, but either way, I feel like this turned out so refreshing and simple, just how I want my mornings and evenings to feel, and I could not be more excited to spend time in here. All right, so I'm gonna walk through and kind of tell you guys how much things were and where they were from. This mirror is actually from Hobby Lobby. I will link one from Amazon that's the same size below, but if you hit the sale time with Hobby Lobby, you can get this for a really, really good price. And then over here, I've got this little Ikea round tray stand. I think that they are like $19, something like that. I've got some faux plants. Some of them came from Big Lots. This one actually came from Five Below. And then I have this little pedestal. I think I got that at Home Goods at one point or another. And this is one of my favorite diffusers from Amazon. I have two of them um, that I will use in here. And I'll probably end up putting like a little, um, I don't know, organizer or something for like hand lotion and chapstick and stuff like that. I just didn't get that far today um, just for the things that I need next to my bed. And then you saw my little plant stands up here. And again, you could totally find something thrifted to do this idea with, and it would be super simple. These curtains and curtain rods are from Ikea and they're super inexpensive for two panels. They are $4. And I actually um, did cut nine inches off the bottom so you can see how long they are. And then the lights, this is only one strand of lights were $16, which I thought was a super good deal. 
Um, those hats over there are from Amazon and um, there is so many different colors. I have the green one and the tan one. And then these pillow covers are also from Ikea, the white ones here, and I cannot remember how much they were. I want to say like $5, something like that, and I already had the pillows. This pillow cover is from Amazon. And then I told you already that this blanket here is from Home Goods or TJ Maxx, one or the other. And then this is just a waffle weave blanket, and I have a light comforter from Ikea, the king size on here. So I don't have a duvet, but I kind of feel like this is my duvet cover. And then over on this wall, this little crossbody is from Amazon. The basket is from Hobby Lobby. And then the little coat rack thing is $5 from the Target Dollar Spot. On this wall, this is a letter board that's from Amazon. And then this little art piece holder, which I actually thought I could end up putting a photo in there if I wanted to, is from the Target Dollar Spot and was $3. Okay, lastly, I want to talk about this rug. So I've been seeing a lot of people doing this so basically you just get a small rug and you put it kind of towards the end I wasn't sure if I wanted to put it this way which I may end up doing I'll play around with it um, the tassels on that end are still kind of unrolling from me getting out of the box because this is from Amazon so I don't know I may end up putting another little runner right here in front of my closet but I love this idea because you're getting a texture you're getting a feel but you're not spending the money on a massive rug that is going to mostly be under your bed so a little tip a little trick i think that it's really neat and like i said you could even do multiple small rugs and it's still not going to cost as much as like a full size room rug plus my little robot vacuum can get under the bed and do a little better job without there being a rug under there so I love this. I'm going to be spending my evenings in here winding down for sure. And I will definitely feel super inspired whenever I wake up in here. If you guys are new here, I'd love it if you joined my channel. I'm going to be doing a lot of organizing and a lot more decorating as the next couple weeks unfold. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Give this video a like and I will see you guys in my next video.